Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, to another episode of Minecraft Single Player with me, HLM 5678. And in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to show off um, all the work I've been doing off camera, which is quite a lot. And then we're going to build a wheat field, we're going to build a sugarcane farm, and we're going to build a storage hut for all of our crops. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the off-camera work. I need to show that off. First things first, I finished the fishing hut. Isn't that funny how I start building something and I don't finish it till like a couple episodes later? That's just me. It, it, that, I think that's going to be how it is with our storage room because I still haven't finished that either. But yeah, I, I finished sides and I added some bushes all the way around here. And um, yeah, I fixed up the walls. And the interior looks pretty nice. I added, you know, the ceiling and everything. But I was thinking about doing, like, a, a little collection point over here or a storage area. And I still needed to, to put a door on here, of course. <sighs> Alright, the next thing I did off camera was I, I made these farms. And I think they look pretty snazzy. Uh, yeah, it, it took me, like, 20 minutes or something, but... Yeah, it looks pretty cool on the map as well. Right there, where my cursor is. And yeah, that's one thing. And then over here, I I built bigger pens for the cows. Um, the sheep pen stayed the same because I don't really plan on breeding the sheep. I might in the future. And then I added this little fence in the middle. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if, that, if I'm gonna keep this because uh, the cows have been escaping for some reason. I don't know if they're hopping over the carpet, but just in case that does happen, this is a good way to get up, and you can jump on this carpet, and the cows cannot, and you can go into their pen, and the only downside is there's no way to get out. Alright, the next thing I wanted to talk about is single player has been really laggy for me lately, and I've had to relog a lot between yesterday and today. And in fact, I just had to relog there, and it's been really annoying. And there's been times where I've had like one frame per second, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it doesn't last very long. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's wrong with my computer, or uh, maybe I, I'm having some sort of lag causer in game. But yeah, I really hope this doesn't keep up. But anyways, moving on with the episode, I made this little uh, fenced-in area here. And this is gonna be our wheat field. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to like make little holes for the water, like so, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll just fill them in with water, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have um, filled in all the one by one holes with water, and we are officially ready to move on to the next step, which is hoeing all the grass down and um, planting seeds. And, yeah, I will be right back once I'm finished. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Alright, um, we're ready for the next step on the wheat field, which is basically just finishing up the fences. Um, yeah, these, these aren't meant to be here. These are meant to be replaced by fences. Um, I forgot to do that. So, yeah, I will do this, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I replaced all the grass blocks with fences, and we are ready to move on to the next part of this episode, which is the sugarcane farm. Um, I'm not really sure where I want to put the sugarcane farm, so I was thinking an area where we already have flat land. So right over here, I think it would be good. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out the rows, and I'll be right back. It's time to say goodbye to this lovely tree because it is in the way of our sugar cane farm. Um, so yeah, let's uh, pay our respects to this tree and then chop it down. Alright, so I have dug up the rows for the water and time to fill them with water. Alright, so I filled in all the rows with water. And um, I don't have enough carpet right now, but what I'm going to do off camera probably, or at least as soon as I get enough brown wool, I am going to uh, cover up the water with brown carpet. That way you won't be able to see any of the water, and you won't be able to fall in it, and the uh, sugarcane will still be able to grow. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to place this last carpet down, and then I will um, just fill in the whole place with sugar cane, or at least as much sugar cane as I have, if I have enough. I'll be right back. Gosh dang it, we were just six pieces of sugar cane short of filling in all of the slots. Um, but unfortunately we didn't have enough sugar cane, but you know, six sugar cane will easily grow later and I'll be able to fill that in. Um, but the last thing we need to do for this farm is we're going to have um, ways of lighting this up so mobs don't spawn. Because I'm pretty sure they can spawn, you know, in sugar cane. I don't know. I just I'm I'm really paranoid today, so I I want to make sure. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have like little rows of cobblestone above with torches on them. So yeah, I'll build those and I'll be right back. All right, so I built the rows of cobblestone with torches on them, and yeah, that basically wraps up uh, today's work on the sugarcane farm. And so the last thing we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to oh hi little ocelot, we're going to build um the storage area and yeah okay so the storage area is going to be right across from our wheat field and yeah so what I'm what I wanted I made it want to make it like five by five I'm pretty sure was how I planned it out um, and I'm gonna make it out of cobblestone and then the roof is going to be wooden stairs so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna build like the base of it and I'll be right back Alright, so I built the base of the building, and what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and destroy the dirt floor. And yeah, I was thinking um, jungle wood planks for the floor. So yeah, this should be really easy and quick. Alright, there we go. Um, I, I wonder what we're going to do for the door. Hmm, that's a, that's a really, really tough decision. I, I maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do jungle door, because I've never used those before. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mess around with certain designs for the place, build a roof, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so I am finished with the hut, and um, last thing we need to do is we need to come in here, make a crafting table, and we're going to place this um, in the floor. And then on the sides, of course, we'll put some chests, let me get these out of my inventory, alright? And uh, we're just going to place them all along the wall like this, and like that. Yeah, so it's nice and crammed in here. Uh, might add some lighting later in the roof. In fact, you know what? Let's do that now. So I'm thinking we'll have stairs coming in like this. And I need a couple more stairs, and then we'll have a glowstone block right there. I'll be right back. You know what? It's been a long day, and I can't even find my glowstone. So guess what we have to do, guys? We have to go all the way to the friggin' nether and get a piece of glowstone with our silk touch pickaxe. And we're risking all the stuff in our inventory as well. So hopefully we don't die. I absolutely hate the nether whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh great. Okay. Yeah, let's try to pull her out and get this glowstone here. Um, oh boy, I'll just meet you guys back in the overworld if I don't die. Okay, let's just... Finish the roof. Okay, uh, upstairs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I'm so done. That's it. I've had a too long of a day. Way too long. I'm, I'm not even gonna do anything else. All right. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode.